I don't know how this fucking works. This is my second time doing this live stuff on YouTube. But hello, good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is having a coming. Fuck. Thank you. Water and his tub's out for you. Thank you so much. Okay, they should be up with your bag. Did they bring it yet? Actually, I have a bag, actually. I didn't see it. It was in the back, actually. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. perfect. When I get back down, will you take out the thermometer? I'm going to get back down and I'll call you for the temperature. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Such a nice lady. Um, She brought me some water and some Pepto because I have stomach pain. Um, Let me take that so that I can give me, you know... The heebie-jeebies, not the heebie-jeebies, can go into effect. But hello, everyone, and good evening. Hope everyone's having a better day than I am. I'm not having a terrible day. I'm blessed, actually. Was this chewable or swallowable? <laughs> I swallowed it, and it was kind of hard. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, so I'm going to talk to you guys about my story with coronavirus. So unfortunately, I was diagnosed, um, not diagnosed, I tested positive for coronavirus, unfortunately. I mean, I there was a high probability that I was going to get a coronavirus because I did go on a trip to um, New York City earlier last week. Um, so what happened? I don't even know where to start, to be honest. But I do want to say this. I do want to say that I am blessed and I am happy that I am not showing any severe symptoms. I, am, um, I consider myself blessed because I have these um what are these this luxury of you know having to be able to stay in a hotel other people are not fortunate enough to have this and you know they get to get stuck with their families and you know infect the rest of their families um so the reason why i urgently had to leave my house was because my mom is diabetic and i don't want to risk you know putting her health at stake just because of my mistake of you know catching coronavirus or whatever. Um, so I tested positive for corona. Actually, let me just go ahead and talk about the whole thing. So I, we came back from New York on Tuesday. Wednesday, I went to go get tested because I was like, I want to get back to my regular life so I can, you know, start working out, doing all this and that. So I did get tested. I wasn't showing any symptoms. I went ahead and, um, you know, did some stuff. I went to the gym. Um, our gym does everything, you know, social distance. We have our own squares and everything. Um, we're not really, really mingling with each other at the gym. But um, I worked out perfectly fine, nothing wrong. I got my results back the next day in the morning and it was negative. So I was like, I'm good to go. <sighs> but um, the two two people that I have that I went to New York with tested positive. So clearly I had been exposed. So I went to get tested on Thursday morning with my other sister. Um, I still was not showing any symptoms, was not feeling anything, no headache, no nothing at all, nothing. So I thought it was all normal for me. So I went ahead and you know got got the test done. I was you know always I was optimistic that I was going to come out negative because I was like you know. Let me just be positive. So I did, and it came back negative also. I got that result on Friday, I think. No, I got it on, yeah, Friday Friday morning I got it. So it was like the next day I got the result. And I was like, okay, I'm good to go. I have no coronavirus, whatever. So I was like, two tests, I'm good. Um, no, no, no. So then I went to, I work out at four in the morning. So I woke up four in the morning. You know, my mini shorts, whatever, and my shirt, no jacket, because, you know, I think I'm the bad bitch, whatever. So I did that, and I went to go work out. I did all my workout perfectly fine, drenched in sweat. <clears throat> it was really cold that morning, I remember. And then I came home, and I went in the shower, and I was, like, feeling, like, severe, not severe, but, like, you know, like, some like neck pain that was hurting my neck. And I was like, oh, I probably just pulled something because I was trying to get back into the gym, you know, right away after, you know, being gone for four days, whatever. 
So I was like, maybe I went too hard and my body was hurting. But then I started feeling like something inside of me was just like, mm, mm. So then I did, I was like in the shower in the hot water and I was like, I feel so tired, so like lethargic. I was like, so, you know, I had the chills. The water did not feel hot and it was like super hot. Sorry, y'all, my phone's going off and I need to put it on mute. Um, so, um, right after my shower, I, I laid down and I was like, mom, I don't feel well. Like, I think I have coronavirus. And I was like, you guys need to stay away from me. Um, so I started isolating that day. Um, it wasn't until the next day and Saturday morning when I went to go get tested because my sister, our lead also started showing symptoms. So once we started both showing symptoms, we were like, okay, we need to lock down ourselves in this room. Uh, we need to, you know, take precaution and, um, because really I only care about my mom. I don't care, like, I know that I can probably battle coronavirus because I'm young and I have like a good immune system. I really don't ever get sick. But my mom, like she gets a cough and she fucking be choking her throat, be closing and we have to take her to the ER because she can't breathe. So like, she was like one of my top concerns. <clears throat> so I got tested on Saturday morning. We went to the county, the county library in Spring Valley. I don't know if any of you are familiar. I don't even know who's watching this to people. Holla to people, I'm so famous. But anyways, so I went to go get the test and I was like, oh, the third one's gonna have, has to come out um, negative because I was like, these other two came out negative, blah, blah, blah. Um, little did I know, or not little did I know, but, but I come to find out that this test comes out to be positive. I found out, when did I find out the positive? It took two days to get the results for that. So it came back positive in two days. And I was like, my sisters came back negative. So I was like, fuck, I'm screwed. Um, I had already like, you know, telling everybody like, oh, my tests are negative. Like I was already here making plans and stuff like that. No, 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 <laughs> you gotta stay your ass home. So that happened, I came out uh, positive. And in the email that they send you, if you're positive, it comes out with the instructions of like, oh, um, you were, if you tested negative prior, it's probably because you weren't detectable, blah, 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 this and that. And it tells you instructions of, you know, you have to call your primary doctor, you have to let them know. Um, and it comes with like other flyers about how to take care of yourself at home, how to isolate properly. Um, it tells you like stuff like if you need isolation from people, then you can request this, which is what I did. And at first I was kind of like hopeless because, um, I didn't really think that I was going to get a room or like, let alone like, you know, get this luxury of like staying in a hotel room because I was like, come on, I have Medi-Cal. Like, you really think they're going to answer people? You really think they're going to answer someone with Medi-Cal? I was like, okay, so let me, let me try. And I tried so hard. Yesterday, they like, getting a hold of my doctor was the hardest thing, hardest part. Like, I had to leave voicemails. I sent him messages on our health portal. And like, he never responded. And I was like, oh my God. like, I was like so fucking pissed. I was like, at this point, they want me to fucking die or they want me to kill everybody in my fucking house. So I was like really hopeless. I was like, oh my God, Jesus Christ. I literally prayed to God. I was like, oh my God, John. Like, everything, ha I was like, everything happens for a reason and let this be a good damn fucking reason for why I get infected with coronavirus. So I was like, I, my literally, my only concern is my mom at this point, because I, I don't want to kill my mom. Imagine if I fucking kill my mom. Great fucking end of it, 2020. Um, so I, what happened? So I called my doctor and they're asking me, it's like the 211 number because that's the number that came out on the email. So I called the 211 number and then the lady was like, it was just the nurse and like she was just so quick with everything she was like symptoms this and that this and that when did you this and that like it was just like i was like my, God, my head's gonna explode um which i understand because probably they have so many other um they have so many other um patients that they need to take care of so i was like okay i totally understand this i know i was like hi george i was like who is this i didn't even know you could chat hold up let me say hi Hey, George. Everyone say hi to Mr. George. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
So um, I should probably put this on my um, in Snapchat and Instagram so that I can get more viewers, which is smile. Um, where was I? So yeah, so I, oh, fuck, I forgot where I was. One thing about me is the two minutes. Can someone tell me what the fuck I was talking about because I lost my train of thought? The nurse, two one one, and then at the end of the whole call, I was there for like thirty minutes. At that point, take it back because I did. I didn't, I forgot to mention that when I got back from New York, I had diarrhea. The diarrhea, I was like, fuck, it was all the junk food I ate in New York. Cause I was eating fucking hella in New York. I was eating pizza, wings, this and that, cake, all sweets, desserts, yada, yada. Like, you know, all these sweet stuff. So I came back and I was like, I, I was like, I blew up the toilet and I was like, oh my gosh, it's me getting rid of all that toxic shit in New York. And then my poop started coming out normal. So I was like, oh, fuck it. It's nothing. But then the stomach pain started coming on on Saturday morning. I was like severe stomach pain, like right here in my ASA. Um, so it was like lower abdo abdominal pain. And I was like, fuck, like, I couldn't eat. I had to be bent. I was on the floor. I was like on the verge of tears. It was like so painful. And I can only imagine what um what like menstruate menstrual menstrual cramps or like just labor pain feels like that must feel terrible. I could barely the diarrhea pain was not something I want to be going through again. And that Pepto Bismol just took it away, thank God, for the drugs. But <clears throat> So the stomach pain, I, I was talking to the doctor for the, about the stomach pain for like 30 minutes. And she was asking me so many details if I had like breathing problems, which I don't, thank God. Um, and she was like, at the end of the call, she was like, you need to get a hold of your primary doctor because you do have insurance. And I was like, I was like, thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> Clicked on her because... I had just wasted my time. At this time, it was already like 5 p.m. And they closed my doctor at 5.30 p.m., like the family health care clinic of San Diego. They closed at 5.30. So I made the call. I was number 20. God, fucking scared. Hello? Yeah, this is me. All right. Yeah, let me go get it. Sorry, I was on the phone. Let me just put this in my mouth real quick. Thirty-seven point two C. Thirty-seven point two. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Ciao. Anyways, no. Okay. I'm reading all the comments. This is hard to fucking keep up with. They evicting him. Not the lie. They told him to leave because he has COVID. There is no roaches. This is actually a nice hotel. I was actually kind of scared that I was gonna be stuck in like some shitty hotel, and I think it's pretty decent. And um. There's no roaches. It's clean. I just sprayed it with Lysol that Liana gave me. Um, bed bugs. <laughs> the cover. Shut the fuck up. I brought my own blankets too. Um, anyways, where was I? So I called my doctor and um, I had told them that I had tested positive for COVID. And they were like, okay, we're going to set up an appointment. And I was like, why? what do I need a fucking appointment for? I was fucking pissed. I was like, what could I possibly need a fucking appointment for? I don't understand why I need an appointment to let you guys know that I have coronavirus. <laughs> so let me put this on my Instagram because 
I am just gonna be too lazy. Like I feel like telling everybody that I have COVID, but I mean, it's my it's my civil duty as a citizen of the world to let people know that I have the virus, just you know to so that anyone if if I had contact with you, go get tested. Um, let me. Let me, let me. Tune into my live for my COVID update. Let me put on my other Instagram because I have seven Instagrams because my fucking hoe. <clears throat> Anyways, so I had told my doctor that I had COVID. So I set up an appointment till the next morning, not the next morning, the next afternoon. They set it up at 1.30 p.m. And I was like, God fucking damn it, how, how fucking urgent this is. I was like, okay, whatever. So then, um, <clears throat> so I came to, it was the next morning, which is today. And my doctor... I told my doctor, I was like, so I tested positive for COVID and she was like, oh, okay, any symptoms? And I was like, I'm not showing any symptoms besides a stomach ache and like severe diarrhea because anything I eat is just going out the toilet, whatever. I don't have any nausea. I'm not throwing up. I don't feel dizzy. I did wake up with a headache, which was, um, I guess, normal. <clears throat> no sore throat, no nothing. So this is like, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. But um I requested them to, you know, give me the the benefit, not the benefit, the luxury of like, you know, um, coming to isolate over here by myself because I was like, I have a family that I don't want to put at risk. My mom is diabetic and I really don't want to kill her. And I was like, just really adamant about like my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom is older. My, my Both my parents are older and my mom is diabetic. I do not want to put them at risk, especially not, I don't want to give them coronavirus for, you know, Christmas. Like, here you go. I didn't get you a gift because I didn't get nobody a gift. Let me get you coronavirus. I'm talking too much. Mm. Leanna, shut up. Also, I want to shout out Leanna Hunt because um, I literally, throughout this whole time that I was like COVID scare, yes or no, she was the one that was like, you know, checking in with me, like, what symptoms do you have? How are you feeling? What's your temperature? You know, she was doing that doctor shit or whatever. She got me... <clears throat> As soon as I told her I tested positive, like in three minutes, this bitch pulled up with some Lysol, the fucking mask, the face shield, the vitamin C, the zinc. I was like, girl, God bless you. And shout out to your mom and your dad too. God bless you all. Um, ugh, I'm getting a little shaky because it's like, I feel like I'm like doing my, my eulogy or whatever that is when you die. I'm like, ugh. Um, what I was going to say. So, yeah. So, I was really frustrated today with my... I was, like, telling my sister. I was like, dude, I really don't fucking care about us. I even tweeted about it. I was like, fuck the U.S. fucking healthcare system. They do not care about us. And I still think they don't care about us. Um, Because I told them, I was like, I need fucking lodging out of my house. And they just... This was at 1.30. They didn't get back to me till 6 today. And I was... The whole time, I was like... Should I pack? Should I not? So the whole time I was in the room, I was just there sitting. I, I'm tired of watching fucking Netflix. If you guys have any recommendations of shows to watch, please let me know. Um, but um, but yeah, so far I've been, I just got here like, what, 40 minutes ago. I sprayed stuff down, wiped stuff down. Um, I think I'm going to take a shower right now and probably do some face masks, do some yoga. I might work out too because I, oh, I also went on a run before I got my results with the bandana, of course, because I was like, maybe I'm so contained. Um, I'm like, maybe I'm still sick or something. But I ran perfectly fine. Nothing was wrong with me. Thank God. Nothing is fucked up respiratory wise. I'm really grateful for that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And yeah, um, that's all I have to say. This is, um, I've been on here for 19 fucking minutes. This video is going to be so long. People are going to fucking hate me. Um, sorry for the cursing, everyone. <laughs> Tamara, this is not Motel 6, girl. Calm down. Hold up. I'm from the US. I only know Fahrenheit. 
Dude, I, I legit was like, C? What is C? Celsius. Sorry, right, come test my vaccine. Yeah, Liana, come over here so I can sneeze on you. I already told everyone I'll tweet it. LMAO7. No, I am in Crown Plaza in Fashion Valley. Um, I don't know if you guys can drop off stuff because I know you guys are dying to bring me my Christmas gifts because I'm going to be here till the 26th. Um, so if you guys have any Christmas packages, any, you know, holiday gifts you guys want to come drop off, you guys can throw it up. I have a balcony. You guys can throw it up the balcony. I take any food, um, money, um, gift cards, credit cards. You guys can come drop them off because I will be doing some online shopping. Um, like I said, um, what, I mean, I want to say something to close this. Um, first off, I want to thank every single essential worker out there that is working, whether it's retail, whether it's fast food, whether it's gardening, whether it's fucking babysitting, anything. If you're working during these times, you are a champion. You deserve all the money in the world. I literally don't understand why any of these politicians, I'm not even going to get into politician stuff right now because I will make this video a 45 fucking minute video and I don't want to do that. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone who's working like anything at the mall or any, like it's just chaotic right now. Like, ooh, it's getting me so, can, um, because I did, I mean, at the beginning of the pandemic, I was working at Panda Express up in Santa Cruz and it was I was so fucking frustrated because people were not wearing masks and stuff like that. And it's just so frustrating, you know, the fact that you still have to go to work and put your life at risk just, you know, to make some orange chicken to feed. Like, it's just ridiculous to me. It doesn't, it, I can't fathom the fact of that. Like, um, shut the fuck up. Don't fucking play with me. I'm going to be sleeping alone here tonight. Stop. How do I take people off the live? Can I take... <laughs> Don't fucking scare me. Um, yeah, so so yeah, that's my thank you to everyone, to those people who are still out there. Um, continue doing whatever you're gonna do because at the end of the day, you're your own person. And I mean, you're gonna have to suffer the sock the sock consequences, the consequences of your to every action, there's a consequence, and you just have to be um willing not willing but you have to be um I, you have to acknowledge the fact that there is going to be a consequence and you have to face it whether or not and sometimes those consequences are you know easy on you and some others are like so hard on you so you have to you know um what i i can't i can't even think about it you know just face the consequence there's going to be consequences to your actions um if you're not wearing a mask if you don't believe in this you're ridiculous you're stupid you have worms for brains you need to go back to school you need a fucking slap across the fucking face because because this shit is real. <laughs> um, I never, I was never one of those people that did not believe in it. I always believed in it, and now that I have it, I believe in it even more. Um, I'm just, you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, I am so fortunate to not have been showing severe symptoms where people are you know, having to be plugged into the ICU and stuff like that. I am so, so blessed. And I am, I thank God and all the saints and all the people who you have, whoever your worship, dick, whatever. I say thank you to all of that. Um, uh, what else do I want to say? To anyone that has been checking in on me, texting me, calling me, thank you so much. If I don't respond to you, it's because, you know, I've been on my phone the whole fucking time and it is tiring to be, you know, on a screen. Um, I want to thank Liana. I already thank Liana. I want to thank, you know, my close friends who, you know, on the group chats are checking in on me. And um, I'm really, really, really grateful for all of you guys. Um, and I think this is it. This is the end of my life. Like I said, I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'll come back on live again. While I do a face mask, I don't I don't have anything to do. I'm really bored. I'm gonna see what the fuck is good on TV. And if not, then I'm just gonna <sighs> thank you, baby J. Um you guys are crazy. You guys are so crazy. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Stop trying to scare me with the ghost stuff. 
I do believe in ghosts. And I hope I don't get sleep paralysis tonight because I'm going to be jumping off that fucking balcony. Oh, also, I want to say thank you to the county of San Diego. I forgot. Thank you to the county of San Diego for, you know, doing this. Like, fuck. I mean, I think it is, you know, your your duty as a county to, you know, provide your citizens with, you know, all the resources. But I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the nurse who brought me the fucking pill. Thank you to the workers. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Um, like I said, I'm gonna remain positive through this whole process because I mean, why be negative about it? Why be so um or just why be sad? They also like let me know that there's a social worker on site. So thank you to all of those social workers, the counselors, there's counselors on site because um I mean this can be very depressing for some people and some people don't cope right, don't cope well with things like such like these. Um, but thankfully I have a good support system and I have like, you know, good stuff that, you know, keeps me going, keeps me positive. Um, and um, yeah, you're right, COVID positive. I'm gonna remain positive. <laughs> um, I don't know for how long I'm gonna remain positive. I I I try not to do a lot of research on COVID because I'm that type of person that I've diagnosed myself before and it wasn't like the good diagnosis. I would always be the, on the wrong diagnosis. Like one time I thought I had cancer and it was so bad. Like I, I'm just not the per I'm not going to look up, you know, symptoms and stuff like that. Um, like I said, this is the end of my video. I hope everyone has a good night. And um yeah, I was like, let's hang out because my test came back negative. But thank God I waited for that um, that third test um, before I saw anyone. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope everyone has a good night and I will be on my way to bed. Actually, I'm going to go shower. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, but good night, everyone. Love you guys. God bless and stay safe, wear a mask and social distance from people. Um...